thank you for looking after our kids. Like th this is a really big commitment for all of our kids. They're on the road for a full month and uh, to be able to have some home cooked meals and uh, to get out of French fry mode and soda mode uh, and to be looked after by a, a surrogate mom and dad is absolutely awesome. So, and Bill, thank you so much for setting this up for you. Uh, for us, uh, especially coming out of, out of cold weather into, into, into warm weather and the kids just getting a chance to, to get a feel for every type of environment possible. So it's just been an incredible week for us and I can't thank you guys and the whole family is enough for looking after us. It's a huge financial commit, commitment for these guys and to be on the road for a month, as you can imagine, probably it, it costs a lot, especially with what gas prices are now too. So, um, you know, we, we got struck pretty good with a pretty hefty fuel bill going out from Portland out to Wyoming, back to Seattle, back down to Portland back down to California and here so thank you guys again so much and uh, Bill this is for you uh, we just made a little Yeti for you so you got something to keep your cold drinks in or hot drinks during the uh, the winter um, that's our logo nice. and your logo so thank you so much I appreciate it. All right. hey, on, uh, on behalf of our families and I got to thank our families too because it's important that we step up for something like this and I know a lot of people were hesitant at the start but hey, it doesn't matter because we got it done and we got them housed, we got them fed, we got them taken care of. And I always look at it as the same thing I would want if my player, my personal player was on the road. I would want a family stepping up and making them part of their family. Because I don't care where we're from in the world, I don't care what our beliefs are, it takes a family to raise these kids. Their world that they're dealing with right now is unbelievably difficult. I mean, we have enough stress as adults, but their world that they're dealing with is unbelievably difficult. So it's up to us, no matter where we're at, to lend a hand and to come alongside of them and help foster them as young men and young baseball players. And that's, that's what our goal should be out here. So, Steve, we got shirts, and I want to give a couple um, MVP bats. Uh, these bats are, let me switch with you real quick. These bats are hand, and there's another story. Bats cost a lot of money nowadays. And when we run a wood bat operation, and guys are paying 150, 197, 198 bucks a bat or more, and they snap them in a bat out here, it's just another expense with the world the way it's going that the parents have to, have to, the foot and it's difficult so I started a bat company and my thing is I'm not in it to make a bunch of money I'm in it to drop the price so that these kids can afford to play and keep going so we handed out a bunch of bats as test bats we had bats purchased now just from that people are all over the place are getting bats from us but these bats are hand turned one at a time it takes about an hour to turn it a couple days to finish it but what we do when we turn these bats is we also pray over them. Mm -hmm. So, and for the guys I know, we try to personally fit the bat to them. So it's not mass production, it's not about money, it's about getting these bats in these kids' hands, 50, 60 bucks, and it's MLB select wood. And it's just one way of, and you guys need to remember this, I don't care where you're from, as you grow and you move out of this sport, you need to give back. You need to remember where you came, uh, came from and you need to give back. So this is our way of giving back.